no fap is the reason why I have all these girls coming to me. No fap is the reason why I'm getting choosing signals. The reason why I get girls is because of no fap. Wrong. <laughs> that is not the only reason. It's part of it, but not the only reason. And here's why. Support our organizations. Teach our children the truth. Hey, welcome back to the channel. What's good with Consider subscribing. Uh, I'm a cool guy. I'm a normal guy. What you'll get from me are videos that are informative, educational, but also make you laugh and brighten up your day in one way or another. So, no long talk. We'll get right into it. When we talk about no fap, right? The point isn't that you all of a sudden start getting girls. When you go on this no fap uh, process, the main part the main part of it is that you start focusing on other areas of your life that don't have to do with pornography or constantly having that sexual gratification so when you go about no fat when you are watching porn right you don't really put in any work to watch that porn video right you know <laughs> if you've ever tried to approach a girl or go on a date whatever it is you know there's a lot of bullshit pretty much you have to go through right some girls from, so let me let me run it back, right? First of all, there's the anxiety to approach a girl, which is a very real thing. Then there's a possibility that the girl not be interested in you. Another real thing. There's a possibility that she might have a boyfriend. There's a possibility that she you get her number, but then she doesn't text you back. Or you get her number and then she doesn't go on a date with you. Or you get her number and then she flakes the day of the day or the day before the day, I guess I actually planned the day and she just flops, right? <laughs> it's right on the screen right there. Wow. Wow. Wow, bro. That's crazy. You see how much BS you gotta, gotta, gotta go through, right? And then there's a point where you go on a date, she doesn't want to kiss you. Or you go on a date and you guys never see each other again, right? And you might be saying, okay, but w listen, porn is just right here. It's just like, I'd rather deal with the effects of porn and watching porn and not doing no fap than deal with all the BS that comes with a girl, right? And I feel you. I genuinely feel you. There's a lot of BS, a lot of bullshit you have to go through when you're talking to girls and trying to get some popping with them, right? But... The effects of porn are arguably worse. You start becoming very enclosed. You start not putting yourself out there like you should be. So when you go on no, when you when you essentially go on no fat, you stop. You know how <laughs> consider how how much time right now do you spend watching porn? I'm not just talking about the simple watching the video, but like the before. Like when you get start getting aroused by a, a video or something, or something like triggers you from the time that that thing triggers you to you clicking through to the right videos, having eight or seven tabs open to you actually finishing to you actually cleaning up, right? Whatever it is, use a, use a, a lotion bottle, a, a tissue, or you, you come on your clothes. That's a lot. That's a lot of life. That's a, that's a whole process to, to to do as well, right? So the fact that you're constantly putting yourself in a in a, in a situation where you almost become addicted to it, and my I I get very personal, right? I literally had a situation where I had fapped. I had I'm gonna bust a couple nuts before the date. And I was thinking about canceling on the girl. That's crazy, right? Really, nigga? Because like, I'm like, what, what, do, what do I need you for? That's, not, that's my mindset. I'm like, what do I need you for? I already got what I wanted. And I don't want to have to deal with the BS. Like, this is a girl that I was actually attracted to. Not like, I just a girl like, whatever. I was actually attracted to like a mm, 7.5, almost an 8, pretty much in my opinion. And yeah, she, like an 8, like an 8, pretty much. And I wanted to cancel on it because I didn't feel like going out. I didn't feel like, you know? <laughs> so
So imagine this is a girl that I really plan a date with. Now imagine you haven't even approached a girl or talked to a girl yet, and you were frapping. The, 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 the likelihood of you going out of your way to go on a talk to X, Y, and Z girl, get rejected, and do it all over again is very unlikely. And there's nothing, there's nothing, there's a, there's a reason, there's a reason, there's a, there's a definite reason why when you have sex with a girl and you, you know, you actually, you know, intercourse, it's so much, it's not just a pleasure, it's the achievement. I mean, in, in a sense, right? In a sense, because girls t- typically have sex a lot easier than a guy. But when you're watching porn, there's no achievement. It's like the feast of process, the feast of point of the like like going out and getting it right. That's why you feel so shameful. It's not even like from a moral comp, uh, moral context or religious context. It's just like I'm watching another man do what I can't do. <laughs> That's the bar right there, bro. That's the bar. I'm watching another man do what I can't do. So I'm imagining being him. When I can't even be me and get what I want being me. Huh? <coughs> so, my takeaway from this video, I don't want it to be too long. When you are a no fat, it does not mean you automatically get X, Y, and Z girl to holler at you. Girls typically don't even shoot their shot like that. They'll shoot, they'll shoot their shot with like a, a, a eye contact and they say that's shooting their shot. Alright, the question of the day is, how do women shoot their shot? I don't shoot my shot, I let it come to me, but I might just keep staring or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I've never done that. I've never, I used to. I look and then they look at me, I look away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never had to shoot my shot. Guys are aggressive, so you don't have to really do that. Not all guys. Not all of them. Most, most. I never shot, like tried no. to shoot my shot, but I probably will just keep looking until you come talk to me. But I'm not coming to talk to you first. They will never necessarily. Some might do, but it's very, and even the ones that I do, you may not necessarily be attracted to them. So as as you as a guy, there's a difference between learning how to quit porn and learning how to attract girls, right? I'll probably leave a link to a dating channel that I have a co-sign to. His name is Lacario Fan. This is my guy, bro. Every time he spits knowledgeable, because like the, the dating game is actually so many levels. There's so much, there's so much to like not only getting a girl, but keeping a girl, maintaining the interest long-term. It's a lot of work. And everything is work pretty much. It's not like it's hard work, but it's work, right? It's work. It's work nonetheless. So my take, my t- what I'm telling you right now is, when you go about no fat, you don't automatic. It's not the reason that you get girls, but it's part of it. You start uh, working out a bit more. You start focusing on your business or your your job a bit more, and you're less like scatterbrain. You know those compilation videos where like every 10 seconds you're watching a new sex scene or whatever it is. That can scatter your brain too and make you not present in the day-to-day situations. That's why you're constantly like skittish going from one thing to the next thing and like you're not really being present in the, in the, in the interaction, right? That's why you're nervous when you talk to the girl because you're thinking about, oh, will she reject me this? Or will she, will she think I'm a loser this or that? As a man, you can't be caring what, what a girl thinks about you. What you think about yourself is what matters most. You know what? I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. So again, what I'm telling you, is no fact does not mean you automatically get X, Y, and Z, girl. What it does mean is that you start focusing on other areas of your life and the time and energy you was putting into watching X, Y, and Z pornography video starts getting transferred into bettering you, living your best life, creating your best life, that's what I like to call it, right? That's pretty much like the takeaway. That's pretty much what I want y'all to understand. And ask yourself, when was the last time you actually, you, you may say girls don't like you, right? When was the last time you talked to a girl? And how many girls do you talk to in a week or in a month? Like for me, like when I go about my day-to-day life or day-to-day activities, if I'm going to the mall, if I'm going to pick up groceries, and I see someone I want to talk to, I holler at them. So on, on average in a week, I probably talk to 25 girls every single week. And 
within those 25 girls, I got about like five or six who were actually interested in me. And then go on a day and make something pop and from that. But right now, ask yourself, how many girls have you talked to in the past week, the past month? And when was the last time you actually talked to a girl? Before you t tell yourself, oh, I'm ugly or girls don't like me. You don't, you don't, can't be, you can't talk to, <laughs> you can't talk to one girl or three girls and then, and then say, oh, yep, I'm ugly. Huh? Huh? Nah, fam. But again, if you are struggling with pornography and addiction or any type of addiction for that matter, weed, alcohol, gambling, whatever it is, link to my mini course, mini email series will be linked in the description and pinned comment this video. Check it out. It walks you through the guided steps, the meditation practices, the foods you should be eating that make the recovery process and the withdrawal symptoms not as severe. But yeah, God bless, much love, peace, and joy. Namaste. Check out Lucario's channel link in the description of this video. And yeah, as always, if it doesn't feed you, don't water. Whatever you're watching, whatever you're listening to, whatever you're eating, because our diet is more than just what we eat. It's everything that we consume. All right, fine. Deuces. I know who I am. I know where I come from.